So some of you asked me to solve this problem. Uh, it says a force of 82 Newton. So this force, sorry, yeah, 82 Newton is used to drag a crate a distance 2.6 meters. So the direction of motion here is in this direction. It's 2.6 meters across the floor. The force directed at an angle 30 degrees. So the force is not in the same direction as the motion. So you will need to resolve it before you get the work. Uh, upward to the crate from the crate as shown in the diagram. Also, the floor shows a friction. There is a, a, a friction force. And as you know, the friction does work and its work is negative. What is the total work done on the mass by all forces? So here I have two kinds of works. The work of the force F and the work of the friction force. <coughs> First, you will need to resolve the 82 Newton. I will resolve it into a horizontal component and vertical component. 82 cosine 30 and 82 sine 30. Which component does the work? Of course, the 82 cosine 30 because it's in the same direction of the motion while the 82 sine 30 it does no work because it's perpendicular to the direction of motion and we said that before so the work done by the force is 82 cosine 30 times the distance times the distance 2.6 meter so if we try to find it i think it will be let me do it Hundred forty six hundred four hundred eighty four, sorry, hundred eighty four point six four Joule. Okay, so this is the work done by the force F. What about the work done by the friction? The work done by the friction equals negative the friction force times the distance. The friction is not resolved. Why? Because the friction always parallel to the surface and opposite to the motion. Like if let's consider an object moves on this slide. It moves on this curve. What is the direction? What is the direction of the friction force? The friction force is always parallel and opposite to the motion. At any moment, at any moment, it's parallel and opposite. Okay. So if we are talking about a horizontal surface, a horizontal surface, a box on a horizontal surface, the friction is opposite, is parallel to the surface and opposite to the motion. So it's not resolved. So I will multiply negative the friction force times distance. So it's negative 17 Newton times the distance 2.6. Let's see what is it. It would be like 40 something, I think. 17 times 2.6. Yeah, 44, negative 44.2 joules. So he is asking about what? What's the total work? Total work. So the total work here equals 184.64 minus 44.2. The result will be 140.44 Joule. Okay. So this is the total work done. Let's see the next problem here. As shown in the figure, a 12 gram bullet is fired horizontally into 0.1 kilogram block. So I have a bullet that has a mass 12 grams. So it's 0 0.0 1 2 kilogram. It's fired to a mass which is 0 0.1 kilogram. 
So this is the second mess. So this is a collision, okay? Uh, this block of wood suspended by a long cord, the bullet lodges in the block, so it will stay inside the block. If the speed of the bullet is 436, so the speed of the bullet is 436 meter per second. Find the height H, this height. H, that the block and the bullet, like this is the center of the bullet, for example, and sorry, the center of the block and the bullet together. Of course, the bullet is very small, so its effect will be very little on the base. So he asks about the height here. So these are two problems. The first problem is between the bullet and the mass. This is conservation of momentum. So I will say the mass of the bullet times the speed of the bullet plus the mass of the block, let me make it big M, time is the speed of the block, and this is before shooting, before shooting, equals the mass of the bullet, or not, I don't want it's before shooting, no, it's before like, uh, before the bullet reaches to the block, not before shooting, it's after shooting, but before the bullet reaches to the block. And after the bullet reaches the block, it will be mass of the bullet times the speed of the bullet plus mass of the block times the speed of the block. But as we said here, uh, the bullet lodges in the block. So they become as like one big mass with the same speed. So I will take the speed as a common factor and I will call it V. So it will be mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block times V. And V here is the speed of both of them after the bullet lodges inside the block. So that's like final speed. Okay. So let's call this is block. We call it L, for example. L. Uh, what was the speed of the block before the bullet reaches to it. Zero. It was zero. It had no speed. It was at rest waiting for the bullet okay, to uh, shoot it. What was the mass of the bullet? 0 0.012. What was the speed of the bullet? 436. Equals. After the shooting, point, the mass is 0 0.012 plus the mass of the block is 0.1, so this is the total mass. Time is the total speed after it reaches uh, the block. So we can find the speed of the two masses together. Let me do it. So 0 0.012 times 436 divided by 0 0.012 plus 0.1. It gives us 46.71 meter per second. So this is the speed of both of them after uh, the bullet is lodged inside the block. Then what will happen to the block? The block and the bullet will move with this speed. So it raises up as a pendulum. So here this part is conservation of energy. I have position number one and position number two. In position number one, what is the mechanical energy? Mechanical energy is only kinetic, have m v square. But the mass here is the mass of both of them because the bullet is inside the block now. So it's the mass of the block uh, or the mass of the bullet times the mass of the block. Time is the speed square. And the speed is the speed that we got from the previous stage. Okay? Because this is the speed it will move with. So it's half times 0 0.012 plus 0 0.1 times V square. So it's 46.71 square. Okay? And by the way, 
by the way, it's easy if you don't substitute now because like when we get uh, when we get the mechanical energy at 2 at position 2 the mechanical energy at position 2 that's the maximum height so there is no kinetic the speed now is 0 it becomes 0 so the mechanical energy is only potential mgh okay and the mass here is both masses so it's m plus m m of the bullet plus mass of the block so both are equal because of conservation of mass or conservation of energy sorry so i can say half mass of the bullet plus mass of the block times v square equals mgh also here i have the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block times g times h so it's better if you don't substitute here because you, you will cancel the masses with each other so it will be easier okay if we do not consider the masses and if you need h h will be the root of v square over no there is no root here sorry there is no root okay h is is, is, is not squared so there is no root so it's v square over 2g v square over 2g so v square 46.71 square over 2 times 9.8 we do it I found it to be 100 11.32 meter okay so th these numbers depend on your problem like each one of you w will have like different numbers okay but it's the same solution the same solution okay thank you so much i will see you next time inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullah